April 6, <coughs> Indian Express newspaper. First article is related to electoral bond scheme. You have to know more about electoral bond scheme. Next one is condom butcher killing, back call for probe, India, within images of civilian body littering the streets of butcher, sparkling, sparking a global outcry, India Tuesday unequivocally condemned the killings as deeply disturbing the supporter call for an independent probe into the happenings in the Ukrainian town which had been under Russian occupation until recently. Delhi has maintained a diplomatic balance on the Ukraine conflict, but the Bucha killing has led to the shrinking of India's diplomatic space created with much effort. This has prompted Delhi to condemn the incident, indirectly targeting the Moscow. Next article is related to Amid financial rain, Sri Lanka caught in political deadline, deadlock. Economic rain appears to have brought to an abrupt end the ruling of Rajapaksha's family total dom domination of Sri Lanka, but the country finds itself in the middle of peculiar political crisis today next article is after uh, uh, after the missile malfunction brahmos buyer manila called for indian envoy a deal to buy three batteries of brahmos missile which was developed jointly by drdo and russia's npo machine strenia manufactured brahmos aerospace in india philippines deal is worth nearly dollar 375 and is being touted as india's first significant defense exporter Next article that we are moving into is related to Jay Shankar introduces a bill to ban funding of WMD. What is WMD? Weapon of Mass Destruction. Lok Sabha on Tuesday, a bill that seeks to prohibit the funding of Weapon of Mass Destruction and empowers the government to freeze or seize the assets of those involved in such act activities. The bill seeks to amend the weapons. Weapons of mass destruction and their delivery system, Prohibition of Unlawful Activities Act 2005, which does not cover the financial aspect of weapon of mass destruction delivery system. The existing act covers unlawful activities relating to biological, chemical, nuclear weapons and their delivery system. It also provides some integrated legal measures. The amendment bill seeks to make an insertion. No person shall finance any activity which is prohibited under this act or under United Security United Nations Security Council Act 1947 or other relevant. Okay. Next article that we are moving into is related to Lok Sabha passes a bill to include um, some communities in Jharkhand ST list. Deshwari, Ganchu, Dautal Bandi, Patbandi, Raut, Ma Majhia, Kairi, Tamaria, and Puran in the list of ST in Jharkhand. Bokta community is being moved from the list of SC in Jharkhand to ST list. Okay. Next article that we are moving into is related to 35 percentage posts for healthcare workers in PHC lying vacant reveals RTA. Reka Potinda, a resident of Kayari village of Palgar Jawahar Taluk, was pregnant with her fifth child a few days before her delivery date she started uh, uh, having a labor pain in october 2021 bleeding she was rushed into primary health care center about 10 to 12 kilometers from her village primary health care center referred her to Jawahar sub district hospital which in turn referred to her nasik district hospital 150 kilometer away by then it was too late she bleed for hours while she took her from one place to another, she died and her way to district hospital showed it her baby. Functional uh, primary health care center must do not have adequate staff. One third of a sanctioned post in primary health care um, centers have wake are vacant. Next article that we are moving into is related to, it goes back to NATO. The war in Ukraine has brought spotlight on NATO. NATO was formed in the aftermath of the Second World War by the Western powers in response to the rise of USSR. Rapid all-round progress made by USSR, planned socialist economy had made the capitalist economies uneasy and insecure. The capitalist West evolved strategy to contain the spread of socialist ideology and NATO became its military instrument. NATO began as a military partnership between the leading capitalist nations of the world, led by USA, ostensibly for collective security. The West, West made a narrative that Western Europe is facing a military threat from Soviet Union. USSR-led Warsaw Pact came into existence only after NATO integrated West Germany into the alliance and started weaponizing the region. USSR at the time was supporting the nation liberation movement in the Third World. 
the disintegration of USSR in the early 1990s, the collapse of other socialist regime in the eastern and central Europe, NATO should have been dissolved. Instead, it was uh, refashioned and expanded to realize the hegemonic ambition of the US, which sought to build an unipolar world order. Ironically, NATO did not NATO did not militarily intervene formally even in the even once in the Cold War era. It started after the disintegration of USSR. Leader of Western powers had assured the Soviet leader Mikhail Gorbachev in 1980s that NATO would not expand into the East, but it kept expanding. Now has 30 member states in the place of the original 12. All Warsaw Pact allies except Russia are now NATO members. Destruction instability have marked NATO's footprint. NATO involvement in Kosovo is well known. Over 500 um, civilians lost their lives due to NATO's indiscriminate bombing in their campaign. An uh, Afghan war, according to the cost of war project led by Brown University, saw 1,76,000 deaths between 2001 and 2019. Similarly, the US led intervention in Iraq resulted in over 1.5 lakh deaths. NATO's intervention in Libya to enforce a no fly zone is estimated to have killed more than 400 civilians. Uh, close to a million people have died in the wars of Afghanistan, Iraq, Syria, Yemen. These numbers do not include indirect deaths or nor do they reveal the havoc wrecked by the force, forced migration, loss of property, psychological damage and geopolitical instability. NATO has a state of art arsenal and a combined defense uh, expenditure of $1.036 trillion compared to Russia. Dollar sixty million defense budget. Moscow's apprehension of NATO reaching its border need to be considered in its backdrop. Okay. A body of size and influence of NATO, with its thirty member accounting for close to sixty percentage of the global defense expenditure, enjoys a disproportionate advantage and mastery over the international scene by its mere existence. Fact is that NATO's continuous expansion and involvement in the world affair is threat to the global peace and just world war. Peace-loving people and the states of global south should be opposed to the very idea of such a military alliance, for it thorough, thoroughly distort the level playing field in the interna at the international level where the every nation state is supposed to be equal. As NATO's track record suggests, instead of collectively se collective, collective security promised, it has only of offered grave insecurity to nation opposed to US interest. It needs to have filled the coffers of military industrial complexes and monopolies effectively diverting funds from vital programs that could otherwise be deployed to improve the lives and livelihoods of the people. This is what the article talks about. Next article that we are moving into is related to Ukraine and the culture war. Firstly, both of the um, both the brewing of the conflict in Ukraine and short one that Georgia already suffered have their roots in NATO's sh uh, shock 2008 announcement in Bucharest regarding membership extension to Ukraine and Georgia. Russia's Vladimir Putin have, has been involved in four international conflicts with Georgia and South Austria in 2008. East, Eastern trouble in Ukraine starts in 2014. Um, after the outstring out of pre President Viktor Yunukov, in 2013, intervention in Syria in support of Bashir al Assad in 2015, and the more decisive move into Ukraine in 2002, 2022. The conflict ended with Russia speaking enclaves in Georgia becoming de facto Russian, and ch chances of Georgia joining NATO disappearing. Even today, Russia's demand to end the war in Ukraine are limited to the recognition of Crimea as Russian. It is overwhelming Russian population has repeatedly voted for incorporation into Russia. Territory recognition of the two breakaway reg regions in the East, both overwhelmingly Russia, Russian speaking and a constitutional amendment to the effect of Ukraine would not uh, pursue NATO membership. Considering, consider therefore the, what Russia has been up to in the economic sphere. It has been acting as a ready adjust adjuster of global oil supply as conflict in the Middle East caused the supply side is shock and a willing long-term supplier of critical natural gas to Europe via the jointly built Nord Stream pipeline that runs from Russia across Eastern Europe to Germany and the West. Okay, a Russian interest in economic integration with the West. It is important to note the difference between the financing arrangement and free market access or participation in the country's stock exchanges on one hand and the construction of massive cross-continental infrastructure for the delivery of natural resources. This is the same period during which 
Russian oligarch capital poured into Europe to even an amateur observer. These Russian behaviors ought to have signaled willingness, even a desire for closer integration with Europe. One does not build deep economic re- relations with and invest in the assets of the region that one is planning to go war with or even develop future adversarial relations with either Putin and the entire Russian establishment of fundally, fundamentally irrational or this is a war that has never wanted but has felt compelled to under, undertake due to the hostile aversion of NATO's expansion so close to Moscow. Instead, the West utter in inability or unwillingness to accept the Ukrainian neutrality, economic integration with both, both East and West. India's position is economically vulnerable to extend war, extended war in Ukraine through the weakness of the rupee, depending depend, dependence on oil and other imports and secu, secular flight to safety of global capital. This means that India's self-interest lies in the rapid resolution of military and economic warfare. Despite Huntington's classifying as, as a swing power, walking the path of independence, self-reliance while continuing to expand our bargaining relationship with the West in the long term is India's best strategic choice. However, India's relationship with the West will be based on mutual self-respect rather than traditional high hand that we have experienced hitherto. Next, next continuation of the article will be in the next part too. If you like the video please do share comment like and subscribe thank you